In at least three weeks, I will take my second qualifying exam and analysis. I also signed up to take the probability theory qualifying exam, so I have to figure out how to, um, what am I trying to say, organize my study time so that each um, section gets its um, due process. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I studied complex analysis for about six hours, and I just sat down to make this list of subjects to study over the next three weeks to make sure that if I fail this next time, it's uh, I did everything I could possibly do. So I decided to make this very short video showing you what I am trying to do for the next three weeks. I say try because I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to uh, follow through. <laughs> on this because it's quite, you know, big is what I'm trying to say. On the first week, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it all has a C right next to it. That means complex analysis. And what you see next to it is what I'm planning on practicing. So, uh, I mean, Friday and Saturday aren't on this list. So I'm going to basically do 10 homeworks and five theorems, 10 homeworks and five theorems, and then do the same thing Sunday and Monday for a total of 40 homeworks and then 20 theorems, and that should be good for complex analysis. And then on Tuesday, I'm gonna look at the guy's midterms, also known as exams, and I also wrote all theorems down there. I'm getting pretty good at proving the theorems, I know how to do it, so I don't think it'll take me too long, and if I understand the trick to it, I may just skip it because there's no sense in practicing a skill that you already have. But uh, that's going to be these three days. It's just complex analysis. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to switch back to real. I've been studying nothing but complex for a week because I've been neglecting it. And the reason I neglect it is because it's easier to prepare for. So for about a week or so, I've been doing nothing but complex. And then I have to switch back to real because otherwise I'll forget all my real analysis. And I'm proposing to do 10 theorems, 10 qualifier problems, and 10, 20 exercises. Exercises being like simple, stupid examples. And then that will be the next, apparently, four days, according to my thing here. So I'll have 40 theorems. Hopefully I can get it all memorized. This is, this is a tall order. I'm realizing it now, but I'm going to try and do this. I'm not promising anything, but I think I could... If I'm efficient, then I can get it done. And then the next week after that, I'm going to study for probability theory because I haven't studied at all for probability theory. And the reason I haven't done that is because the test, I think, is easier. But, you know, the famous last words, you know, <laughs> the test is easy. You get there. The test is hard. Um, but I don't really have a good strategy for it. I just know... That if I look over the notes, look at his homework, look over the previous exams, which is what I've had for these three days, then I think that will be good enough, knowing what I know. And then on the fourth day, I switch out the exams and homework with old qualifiers and packet homework, like just to make sure that I'm flexible so that if they throw me a curveball, I can adjust adjust to it. But I don't think I need to practice much for probability, but these four days should be good. I'm a little bit scared about this because I don't want to forget my analysis. It's just probability theory is so close to real analysis or measure theory that they kind of go together in some regards. And then at the end of the second week, I go back and forth between complex real and probability. And this is pretty, that's that's a pretty tall order. So all theorems, <laughs> there's about 25 I'm really interested for the theorems that I think he'll pick um, or has been picked. Uh, 50 homework problems. The homework problems aren't that long. Some of them can go by pretty quickly and I don't need to do it. Like I can just look at the problem and say, okay, I know, I know the trick that needs to be used here, like max modulus principle or whatever. And then I need I definitely need to practice these two. That's going to be important. And then for real analysis, it, it's really just this day just magnified. Man, this is I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. 
and then probability, go through all the old stuff again, get a little bit of everything. And then the third week, uh, I only have six days listed, but I mean, it doesn't really matter too closely, that close to the actual test day. But I'm gonna try and mimic, try and get one of everything. And then when I'm done doing these, because in theory, by this point, I've already seen these problems. I'm just trying to make sure that I understood. So I go slower here because I'm, you know, I'm learning and acquiring the tricks. And then down here is pretty much I have everything that I can possibly get. And I'm just trying to make sure I don't forget the things that I learned. I guess that's the best. That was my thinking when I wrote this up. End with a tricks summary, meaning that uh, I'm going to list down all the tricks I recognized for these problems. Say, okay, look at this, this, and this, and if you get stuck on a problem, just rem fall back on your tools. And then the same thing for real analysis, so you can see what I'm going to try and do. Probability, one of everything, trick summary. Trick summary down here is probably not uh, as useful as it is here, but I'm going to include it anyway. And then... Pretty much the same thing for these these three days. I don't really know what else to do. And then, so this is six days, so there's a Saturday. I may just take Saturday off <laughs> and just breathe because I don't want to burn myself out. I understand that this is a huge list of things. And in theory, you know, I've already got, I've got like two years worth of practice at this point for this test. So I don't expect this to be that as much as it would have been a year ago let's put it that way i'm not promising i can stick to this i'm just repeating myself at this point it's just i'm starting to feel the stress i'm pretty good at managing stress and right now i'm feeling stressed so this will be the last video before i take the qualifier so the next video will either be called happy grad student or sad grad student we will we will see hopefully it's happy